As we start heading into summer, North Idaho businesses want to make sure as many people as possible come to visit, even as much of the country cuts back because of high gas prices and high airfares. KXLY 4's Anusha Roy joins us live from Coeur d'Alene. Anusha, what's the feel for the summer season? Well, you know what? A lot of businesses are expecting it to actually be pretty good for this summer. In fact, a state official says the number of advanced hotel bookings are up and some businesses are expecting a few more visitors than last year. It's Adam High's first visit to Idaho. He was enjoying Lake Coeur d'Alene this afternoon with some friends and was taken by the scenery. I think right now I just actually seen the mountains and the snow in the mountains is pretty cool because we don't have any mountains in Michigan. Whether it's enjoying the resort or Silverwood theme park, local tourism businesses want more people to know North Idaho is a great place to visit. And to do just that, nearly 90 people attended the North Idaho Tourism Summit today in Coeur d'Alene. It's really mostly for networking and fostering those relationships relationships that are going to build tourism in the area. It's an industry that brings in around three and a half billion dollars in Idaho, but it took a hit during the recession. As it makes a comeback, a state official says North Idaho is bouncing back faster than other areas of the state. Well, they've got more infrastructure here and a much more vibrant uh, group of people out there working together. But there is more work to be done. Advertising is crucial to boost tourism, and the state wants to target visitors in areas like Seattle. Silverwood is expecting a good year. They saw 628,000 visitors in 2010 and expect more to come out this year. Season pass sales are up, for example. Group business is up over 30% right now, which is a huge number. As for Adam High, he doesn't need to be convinced. It's been a good experience, and I'm looking forward to seeing more. Now, speaking of those gas prices, some business owners are concerned that might affect some drivers' willingness to come around to the area to visit. We did talk to a spokesperson at Silverwood. They say they've seen these high gas prices before. They're not so concerned. Live in Coeur d'Alene, Anusha Roy, KXLY, 4HD News.